call from? Mateo. What up, Mateo? Oh my gosh, I didn't, I didn't think you were real for a second. Okay, <laughs> me and this girl, right? We were like great friends, you know, for like since like eighth grade. Like, so yeah, I saw this girl. Oh my god, I was obsessed. She was, she was great, you know. And like, we got really close and stuff. I'm becoming a junior. But over the course of sophomore year, oh my gosh, dude. There was like so much like weird stuff that happened. Like I said, I liked her, but like I was like going through like self-esteem issues. So I hooked her with my best friend and that damn near killed me. Yeah. So I joined like wrestling. I lost like 35 pounds because of it. Damn, 35? Um, what period of time did you lose 35 pounds? Two, three months. God damn. I envy yeah. you and your young <laughs> metabolism, bro. That's insane. I got the metabolism of 40 year old man. I'm, I'm still overweight. I gained a lot of it back. Her and this dude break up, right? And then we get really close again. Oh, and by the way, when her and my best friend dated, I like pulled back a little bit. You know what I mean? As you should. Anyways, yeah. after her and my best friend broke up, we started getting close again, you know? And it was like, I kept asking him if it's okay. So like, you know, I'm not a bad person and stuff. And basically what happened is it was winter ball time was coming up. We were on call every day, all day. We even found an app so we could like fall asleep on call and wake up and we'll still be on call. It was crazy. I was gonna ask her to the winter ball, right? And, right. I, and she said, yes, I had the poster, everything. She said, yes. In fact, we planned it um, for her to like, I mean, her planned it and stuff. Then after the winter ball, I asked her on another date and she says, no, it, it, like it killed me. So I didn't hang out with her for six months because I was afraid I would develop a crush again. You know, I didn't want to be hurt again. Last week, we um, were on call all night again for the first time again. And she tells me that she had a crush at the same time. And she was like obsessed with me too. Like whenever I talked about other girls, she would like get jealous. Then she starts like going on and on about like how things could have been really different and how like we would have been like a great couple and like we don't, she doesn't know why we would break up and stuff. Not, and like she was also saying like, I would date anyone right now. It just depends on how long I think we last. I think we last a long time. So I don't know if I should ask out this girl again. And at the end of the night, we each asked out a person because we were bored. And I asked out um, our mutual like best friend, her name, I can't say it. And she says yes. The reason why I asked her out because I thought she would say no. I'm not sure if I'm into the other girl, too. You already have a date with the pretty <laughs> girl that you're not that into. Go with her. If it doesn't work out, it's going to make this girl jealous, and you can go after her. But go after the one you already have a date with. If she's pretty and cool, and you're figuring her out. That's what dating's about. Where should I go on this date? Father, I've never been on a date. I'm so nervous. Don't go to oh, the, my God. Don't go to the movies. Arcades Thank are really fun. It. If there's an arcade, do that, because it doesn't matter. It's fun as All right. All right. All right. Bye, Father. Love Bless you. your heart. Have a good one. Mateo, have you called recently? That name sounds familiar. Yeah. I called uh, last stream. The girl um, that's like the mutual friend, I'm pretty sure it's still like we're just friends. So I asked out the other girl and she said yeah. So now we have a date next week. Okay, Pimp. F yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Congratulations. I just wanted to call you and, um, and say I know why you're just like a priest because you make miracles happen, Father. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. <laughs>